This is a demo of Parsons problems that have been put onto UM Learn for you to practice coding in uh, Comp 1010. So a Parsons problem allows you to play with the ordering of code and not have to worry about the syntax, like forgetting the semicolon or exactly how a particular function call is spelled and things like that. Because you're given all of the code and you simply have to put it into the right order. So this first Parsons problem asks you to create a script that will produce this output, this red circle in the bottom right hand corner of the canvas. And you're given four lines of code. And so all you have to do is grab each line of code one at a time and drag it over to construct your solution. You put it into the yellow area. So I remember that we always want to start with a size command. So I'm going to grab that one first and pull it over here and now it's over here and we've moved it out of this area. Um, and now I think, well, I think then I want to draw a circle or an ellipse, so I'm gonna grab that code and put it over here. And you can see that I can, I can sort of decide exactly where I wanna put it. And then I think, oh wait, but I need to specify these things, center X and center Y, I guess I need those. So I'm gonna add that to my code. And then, oh right, this fill call, that's what makes the circle red. So I better put that in too. And so I'm gonna put that down there. So now I have what I think is a solution. And if you know what you're doing already, you'll know that this solution is not correct. But how, you might not know that, so you need to be able to test it. So we click the Get Feedback link, and it says code fragments in your pro program are wrong or in wrong order. This can be fixed by moving, removing, or replacing highlighted fragments. All right, so let's try and rearrange this and make it work better. So I think maybe I need to put the circle call at the end so that we get these variables sorted out and set the fill color before we call the circle. And so I'm gonna click get feedback again. And this is telling me that my code fragments are in are wrong or in the wrong order again. So I'm gonna look closely. And in actual fact, this, this program would work. Um, you could set these variables center X and center Y before you set the fill color, or you could set the fill color first. These two lines of code can actually go in either order. So if I just switch them, it says I'm correct. And the previous version was also correct, but the Parsons problems are set up to expect one particular solution. And so sometimes you might have to fiddle with things. Um, and when it says it's incorrect, that would actually work. But this gives you a general sense of the kind of sequencing that you need to make this work. Now, one other thing to be aware of is you can also just click on this new instance to start over. And there is indentation here. So you're maybe not working with indentation in code yet because you're not writing things inside of functions and you'll get to that next week. But I wanna make you aware that when you drag code over here, you can have it line up like this, but you can also move code in so that it's indented and you can move it in even further so it's further indented. And there will be um, Parsons problems later where the indentation matters and you have to show the correct indentation because the lines of code inside of a function will need to be indented and so, or inside of a loop or, or other types of things. So you'll, we'll get to that later, but just be aware that you don't want to put this over here because that would actually give you um, a, an error. So if I put this into the right order, but I have an indentation like this and I get feedback, it's going to show me that that's wrong. And it's actually saying indentation. So if I move it over and then I get feedback, it shows me that it's correct. All right, so that's Parsons problem. So go ahead and play with those. Thanks.